Hey everybody, Captain E here for you for One Piece discussing. I get my uh, Gear Force Luffy outfit on, but we're not talking about Luffy. I screwed in it. Got it from Myrtle Beach. I love it. I barely wear it though. I don't want to mess it up. So um, I'm wearing this because all my clothes are in the wash and I can't come up here without a shirt. So uh, <clears throat> oh, me and my boys on uh, my. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Me and my boy, me and my boys on uh YouTube, Nonsense Net, uh Black Cotta Curry, Ari Gold, Hype B Morgan, the Grand Sogan. We were talking like a few weeks ago. And we were like, who win the fight, Jack or Cracker? Black Cotta Curry was saying Cracker could beat Jack. And I was saying, nah, I don't really think so. They don't really have that many moves and stuff, but you know, Jack the Drill. The third division commander on Kaido's crew, or the third all-star, that's what they call him. He given the name Jack the Drought because he has the ancient type Zoan woolly mammoth. He turns to a gigantic mammoth and he just stomps out the place and it's like a drought just came. Or like, you know, yeah, a drought just came. He is huge. I think the latest date uh, Viva card came out, they said that he's bigger than Kaido. I, I'm not too sure about that, but... He helped Kaido take over Wano when he was eight years old. He's that strong. He's a brittle bass fishman. Well, he's half fishman, half human. Well, no. I think he's fully fishman, actually. Yeah, he's fully fishman. He's just, uh, you know, he ate a devil fruit. That's how he was able to bring him to water when he got knocked down by Zunisa. Now, this man fought Nekomamusi and Arasi for, I think it was ten days or five days straight. No rest. Because, like, the cat... I mean, the dog would fight the uh, Jack all day, and then like either we never seen his hybrid form, but either his regular form or his uh, mammoth form. He'll fight him all day. Then when it comes night, and the cat will switch out, and the dog will rest. Jack don't get no rest. He's constantly fighting day in and day out with the cat and the dog, who get to rest, eat and stuff back and forth, back and forth. Boom. I don't, I don't think he lost, but he was like, eh, whatever, we were, we were a treat. He had no scars on him. He's fine. Then when Doflamingo gets captured, he goes to fight Fujitara, Sengoku, and I think it was Aokiji and a bunch of admirals. There was like, I think there was like five ships, Navy ships that were taking him towards MCOM down. He took down like two or three, and he came back, and all he had was a little bandage on his head. He fought Sunisa, well he didn't fight Sunisa, Sunisa smacked him upside the head, and his ships, he got drowned in the water. We saw blood come out, it was like, Sunisa is... She's tall. Well, we don't know if it's a he or she, but it's taller than the red line. It's like 30,000 meters high. It's, it's, it's huge. And then when we see him in Wano, he's fine. He's fine. He fights Oscar Dozy. Well, not really a fight. They have a little confrontation. Oscar Dozy slices him across the chest. That's the very first time we ever see him get injured because like, we never seen his scars on him. I don't think we see him again after that, but it didn't look like a hurt. He was ready after he got that big old gas in his chest. He was like, let's go then. But then Kaido showed up and everything. Well, uh, I don't think the manga get to Oh, whatever, whatever. I haven't said anything else. But Kaido. Ah, I said Oscar Dozy. Whatever. Uh, Kaido came and then they stopped. That's all we see from Jack so far. He don't really have any name moves, but he's a bulky dude. He could take on like at least anybody. Like, I think even if Luffy goes against them, I don't, I'm like 90, I'm like 80% sure Luffy could be him. It would be a high diff, though. It would be a really high diff. Even though he's the third commission, I think it would kind of be, if it's not a high diff, it's like mid to high. Mid to high, because of just how strong and built this man is. He's weaker than uh, my manga books are over there. I'm holding my wallet up. It's a spoiler for anime watches. He's weaker. He, he's weaker than um, King and Queen, but you know he's still pretty strong. Okay. Then we got Cracker. Now I can say everything about Cracker. He fought Luffy first. He's a third. It was, it was Katakuri, Smoothie, Cracker, the Snacks, and Snacks got demoted. So yeah, it's Cracker. He has the biscuit, biscuit fruit, or the Cracker, Cracker fruit. No, yeah, the biscuit, biscuit fruits. He can, every time he claps his hand, boom, a cracker soldier pops out. And it took Gear 4 of Luffy, he had to punch, it only took Gear 4 of Luffy to punch through these crackers. And now, it's pretty easy for Gear 4 of Luffy to do that, but he can make an infinite supply as long as he just keeps clapping. Now, he is low to pain. 
he says even the prick of a needle he can barely stand. He has a big scar on his face, so probably that's like how he, he gets taken out. After like one hit, he was out of commission. Luffy took him down by Luffy got fed up. I mean, Cracker got fed up with fighting Luffy for hours because Nami kept like making the crackers moist, like his cracker sauces, so and Luffy was able to eat them. So he went in and he went like twisting pretzel or whatever, and Luffy sucked them in. Boom, threw him out, and he hit like I think two or three trees, and he hit into a building, and he was out. You never saw him the rest of the chapter. I mean, the rest of the arc. I don't think he was on the ship with Big Mom going towards. Ah, uh, shoot. I keep forgetting. I don't think he was on the ship with Big Mom going towards Wano. But if he is, I don't know. I gotta look that up again. But in a fight, Cracker v. Jack. Jack will win by a landslide. This man is just so bulky and strong, and he takes like no. Pain is the direction isn't crazy. No matter like I know Kraken just you know keep clapping his hand like that. He's just gonna power drive through that and base form and get straight to him. No games. One hit crack is out. Boom! Dead. I'm pretty sure he'll die from a Oh my camera freaking out. I'm pretty sure he will die from a jack hit. No lie, I'm never playing. Like, he was nearly dead just from hitting a couple trees and slamming into a building. Yeah, he's like his endurance, not not endurance. I mean, yeah, I, I know people like Blackheart Green brought this up. Like, he's really scared of his sword because with no armor in hockey, he was able to slice into Luffy's arm and gear forth. Yes, that's impressive. That's like Jack. I don't know. I don't even think Jack would like. He he has swords too. He well, it's not. It's like a it's like a scythe, but with a handle. Like he has two scythes with handles, like sword handles, and it's like it's like this, you know. Like you, you know what I'm talking about. It's like you know. I think Jack can just power drive through those crackers like nothing. Just like Gear 4th could. Obviously, Gear 4th was taxing a little.